Hello, my name is Scott Stanger. I'm from Waco, Waco, Texas, <laughs> home of Baylor University. Go Sikkim Bears! Uh, I'm from the CFMA's newest chapter, the Heart of Texas chapter, or better known as the Hot Chapter. I'm the Vice President of that chapter. Janet James, our President, would be here except she's pregnant. I'm glad she is and not me, so I can come to <laughs> an event like this. Uh, I just want to say thank you to so many people. I mean, not just uh, my chapter that was willing to send us here, but certainly uh, uh, Ted and, and uh, Todd and Marsha and uh, um, Stuart and Kathy, I mean all the Brad, all the work that you've done to uh, pull this event off, it's been phenomenal. I think I've heard some of the others say that didn't know exactly what to expect and I was in that same group I like, well it's going to be a bunch of accountants getting together, you know, that makes me break out in a rash right away. <laughs> But it's been fun. Uh, it's been fun. It's been a time of discovery, both of ourselves and our teammates. It's been a great team building exercise. I think for me personally, one of the aha moments was when we went up to the Hohokam Indian ruins. And there at the very top of the, the mountain, as we were looking at those uh, old buildings that they actually lived in, uh, there was one building that was off to the side and they called it the mystery building. Wasn't exactly sure what it was for except they noted that the entrance to the building perfectly faced this giant rock that was uh, a little bit down the, the mountainside and that lined up with exactly due east and the, the, the rising of each day's sun. And that just taught me how important or, or it, it confirmed to me how important it is that we have to have our, our um, our sights on the new horizon, you know, the beginning of a new day. And possibly the person who lived in that building then was someone who was always looking at the new day and perhaps going back and sharing with the others. Here's what's developing in this day. Here's where we're going. Uh, I, I am uh, at our organization of Capstone Mechanical. I'm a part of a three-member executive team. And we oftentimes say that uh, this one officer, the president, he's like the gas pedal. The other officer, he's like the brakes, and they, they say, I'm like the windshield wipers. I, I help you know, bring clarity and, and vision and, and uh, hold us to our purpose and our values. And uh, as we did some of the exercises, one of them in particular was uh, assessing our, our strengths and our behaviors. And we looked at this triangle, and, and one corner was red, and those would be the people that would be very, perhaps, authoritarian. I, I use these three A's, authoritarian in the red, and then you had another corner that was a green. You might say those are the ones who are more analytical. And then you have a blue corner that they might be the more accommodating. And then you had some people who were in the hub. And I, I, uh, as we did this assessment, I was in the hub. And it, it was a great exercise to realize not just my strengths, but perhaps uh, limitations, but also how we can be perceived. And uh, then I can look at the other people in our organization or part of our executive team or part of our chapter and just kind of you know, figure out, well, that, that's where I think that person is and so that's how they're wired and that's how I can work with them better. It was, it was a real eye-opening experience. I'm looking forward to taking that back to uh, not only Capstone Mechanical but also to our chapter there in the heart of Texas. Uh, as far as the one thing, um, we, we are big fans of the seven habits at our organization. We teach them, we use them a lot. It's, it's ingrained in, in our DNA, our corporate DNA. So uh, the, one of the things that I've taken away from that book for many years is that we are not human doings, we're human beings. And as we uh, did these exercises, you know, here we are a bunch of uh, accountants or professionals coming together and uh, we could have probably just uh, got mired down in, in the technical things that are a part of our world, but instead we did fun activities and uh, we, we realized who we are and how we're wired and how we can uniquely work together. Uh, there's a, a favorite passage of scripture for me of that we should come together with gentleness and humility and patience and, and love and maintain the unity of the Spirit. And that's what I really felt like happened here. Even though we're, we're from different parts of the country, different chapters, different uh, vocational backgrounds, we came together as one and that was the power of one. Human beings. Being who we're made to be. Thanks so much, and uh, you know, it's so exciting to see somebody that actually, if I looked at people, purpose, and passion at work, I think you're living it on a high level. 
and I think your encouragement, I think you're going to be a great leader, a great mentor. I think you bring a lot to your company. I think you're going to bring a lot to CFMA. And you just have that gentleness around you, but at the same time, you get stuff done. So it's such a pleasure to have you here, and we appreciate all your input. So thanks again. Uh -huh.